I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is December 28th, 2017, and in this video I'm going to be going over how go I'm going to be going to be installing a new hard drive on my PS4. And I'm kind of going to go nuclear on it. Uh, I want to have a fresh install of the PS4 operating system on the new hard drive. And from my current hard drive, I only want to copy over the saved game data. Uh, for my main account and for each family sub-account that I have. So with that, let's get started. Okay, before we get started, what do you need to get this whole process done? Now, one of the first things you need is you need to get a USB cable. One that can uh, plug into your PS4 on one end. And the other end, so you can actually plug it into your controllers. Now, the reason I bring that up is because you're going to have to re-register your controllers with what, in essence, looks like a new PS4. And so you got to resync them. So you need to have that uh, ready to do that when that time comes. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a USB drive. So I'm going to use a thumb drive, but you can use a regular drive too, as long as it can plug into USB. And what you also want, preferably, is probably get USB 3 because it will download faster and upload faster. Uh, next thing you need, you need a computer because you need a computer to actually download the software on and actually transfer it to the USB drive. Uh, let's see. And the last thing you need, right? Last thing you need is all your login information for all your users. Now, in my case, I have one main user that does have PlayStation Plus, and then I have three family accounts, and so I need to get all the information on all of those. And so I'm going I'm to go over real quickly how to do that if you're like me and haven't logged into those users specifically for a long time. Um, so what you need to do is go over here to PlayStation.com. In this case, I'm going to the U.S. version, so there's en dash us gets attached there. I'm going to sign in to my main account. Okay, and sign in. And so if you only have one account, and that's all it is, and all you need is that exact email address that you just put in for your main account and your password, and that's all you need to sign in when you get your new PlayStation set up, when you get your new hard drive installed. But if you're like me and you have family member accounts, you need to go look those up and make sure you actually know the uh, email addresses and the password for those. So what I'll do to get those real quick, and click on here and go to account settings. And this will pop up and click on family management. And then I have to click on family management again. I guess they're reorganizing this. And then go to family management now. And this guy pops up. And here I can see the additional three members of my family right here that are that are accounts that are sub accounts to my main account in my case. And so I can click on any one of these since I do manage it and I can sit here and I see the sign in ID and that's the email address. Uh, and then down here, if I have accidentally forgotten the login, I can go down here and I can click on reset the password. And here I can put a new password in, re-enter it and click save and that'll be the new password. And I already went and did that with all these just to make sure I had the right one since I don't use them very often. Um, I just went one by one into each user and confirmed their sign-on ID and then also went down there and reset their password. So I did that with each one. So now I have a list of all my users' emails and all their passwords so that I can add them to the new hard drive once I get it all reinstalled because it's going to be like a new PS4. Um, okay, so now that you have all that information and all those tools you need, now let's go down let's go to the next step to download the software. Okay, now get your USB drive, and we have to do a few things to it. Uh, now, in my case, I got about 30 gigs free on this. You don't need to wipe the hard drive, the thumb drive off, try the thumb drive out. I did, um, but you do need some space on there because you might be surprised how some of these, how big these save data files are. Like I think on my son's uh, Minecraft, he had about a gig of it of data just on that game, not the game itself, just the save data. Uh, so you may need five or 10 gigs of free space. Uh, but anyway, once you open this up, you need a file structure that the PS4 can understand. So from here you go, new folder, and we'll name this uh, PS4, and it needs to be capitalized, PS. And then open up this folder, and in here you need to make another folder, and this folder you will call update. Again, all caps. And then open up this folder, and this is where we actually need to put the, the update file that we can get from the PlayStation Network. And so with that, you need to go over you know, to this site, and I'll put this URL in the show notes. Go here, uh, and you'll see right now, as of this date, the current, systems update, current system software update is 5.03. And if we scroll down to the very bottom of this page, 
you'll see what I want to do, perform a new installation of the system software. You can click on that and open it. And if you, and they'll give you some instructions on how to do the process. But what I'm concerned about at this point is the actual software. So I'll click download now to actually download the PS4 update software. And there it goes. And it should be about four minutes to download. And it's about 910 megs in size. So make sure you have enough space for that. Okay, there we go. It's all downloaded. So I need to actually click on this, click on show in folder. And now it, there it is in my downloads folder. And I need to copy it over to this update folder that I made on the thumb drive. So I'll copy that over. All right, there we go. So there's my, that's all I need on this thumb drive for now. So the next thing I do is go to my PlayStation and actually copy over the game save, game save data per user. Okay, before I dive too far into this, um, there is another way you can back stuff up, which I'm not going to go into, but I'm sure you can find some videos out there. I'm going nuclear. I just want to basically have a new fresh PS4 in a sense with a new hard drive with new stuff installed, no games, and pull my game data over there and then reinstall every single game. Another way you can do it is you can go up here, go into settings, and go all the way down into system. And then go down here, and you actually can, if you have two PS4s, you can connect them together, which I'm not going to go over at all. Uh, but there also is this backup and restore. You can go into here, you can click on, click on backup and restore, which I think I need to stick a thumb drive in to even have it acknowledge that. So I'll stick my USB drive in right now. And, okay, synced, fine. And so what I can do here... is back up everything. Hit next, okay. Well, it'll be backed up. Okay, I'm gonna do it wrong anyway, but I'm not gonna go over this, but there's a way you can back everything up. But if you back everything up, you can actually back, back up all your programs, but it gets really big. And also, I just kinda wanna go nuclear and, and delete everything, so I'm not gonna actually go through this process anyway, but just to let you know it's there, you can probably find some videos on it if you want to do it that way. But my method is I want to get all the save data. So what I'll do is I'll go over here, log in as one of the users, I'll log in as my main user. And then what I want to go to, then I want to go do is back up their game. So I go to settings and go down to application save data management. Click on that guy and click on save data and system storage and then copy to a USB storage device. I can also upload it to an online storage if I have PlayStation Plus. Now, the problem with that though is all my sub accounts don't have PlayStation Plus, so I can't do that with a sub account. I could do it with this account. So if you only have one account, that may be a way to go. Um, but I'm gonna do the USB one because I'd like to have the USB uh, local anyway. And I also need it because I don't have PlayStation Plus on my sub accounts. So click on copy to USB storage. Dun, dun, dun. And then here, click your options button on your controller, and you can use this to select multiple applications. Click on select all, and you'll look through here, you'll see some of these files are big, you know, 1.06 gigs, 410, three, you know. These are all save files, but these are not the games. They're just the your your own game data, your save data, your save files. So I'll click copy, and this will start copying it to my thumb drive. In this case, it might take a little while. Which is one reason you probably want to get a USB 3 version versus a USB 2, because a USB 3 stick should be much, much faster than a USB 2. And why do you have this? Okay, I've had this come before. I don't know why it's being goofy. But in this case, there should be nothing on this USB drive. So I'll click apply to all and say yes. And so this will back up all my data. I'm not sure why it's remembering that, even though this, this thumb drive is wiped out. Okay, there we go. 
So next thing I want to do is actually copy over all the data for the other people, other users, other sub accounts. But there turns out there's a little problem with doing that. So if I go back to the main screen here and I log in, switch users to another user. And I go through the same process, we'll find an issue when it tries to back it up. So go down here, go application state data management and save data in system storage and copy to USB storage device. Hit option, select multiple, select all, and copy. Now this time as it copies, now you're just gonna work, huh? Watch it work. Okay, this time it just worked. Okay, last time I had an issue where even though these accounts are different, and all their saved games should be different because every saved game data is associated with an account. And in a sense, there shouldn't be a problem. What should happen is exactly what I just did right now. But I had a problem where if they had the same type of saved data, so if one had Battlefront, saved data, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront had game data, and the other account had Battlefront game data too, they would try to overwrite each other's game data, even though that data is only associated with one. So in essence, it would delete the other one. Uh, so in that case, what I was going to do and, and did do on my other machine was for each one, after I saved it, I would pull the thumb drive out, put it back into my main, into my computer and rename the drive, rename the folder from PS4 to PS4 underscore Patrick, and then go put it in. And in essence, back one other one would make another PS folder, which would save the next person's data and so on and so forth. But in this case, it looks like I might be able to avoid that, but I wasn't avoiding it earlier. Okay, but let's assume this is working. So now I'll go switch users to my next user and do the same thing. And let's see if we have any errors. Okay, save data in system storage, copy to USB storage device, and click options, select all, select all, and copy. Okay, now it's correctly working. It wasn't correctly working before. I wonder why. Okay, I'm gonna go do my last one. Switch user to my last user. And do it all again. Click options, select multiple, select all, and copy. And if I don't get any errors here, I think I'm in the clear. Ah, there we go. There's an error. Perfect example. This is what was occurring to me before. Um, it could be that other two accounts just didn't have the same saved data, or maybe they were better at it. Who knows? But in this case, I know my main account has a World of Tank save data point at, that's 104.9 megabytes. And this one's about to overwrite it with one that's 10.49 for this other user. And so what would happen would be not that I can switch the data around, but basically now my main users will be overwritten. And so he won't have this save data, but my new user won't have this data. And so for me, that's a problem. And so if you don't have this occur, no problem. But if you do have this occur, here's how I'm gonna deal with it. So I'll say, uh, say apply to all, no, and then cancel. Yes, I wanna cancel. And then I'll get out of this, just to this point. At this point, I'll remove the USB drive and stick it in to my computer over here. And here, if I open it up, I'll see there's my PS4 folder and there is my update, like what I, what I, the file I put there before. And there's these save data points. And each one of these I think should be a different user. And we have all this data in here that we don't care about. But what I'm going to do now so that I can make sure that I'm not overwriting someone's data is I will make a new PS4 folder. Oops, let me call PS4 for now. PS4, and this will be my main one that apparently has three of my accounts. And I'll make this folder that once I put it in there, it'll just be storing this data. So I'll go back here and eject this guy. 
stick it back into my PS4. And let's see what we can do. So now when I save it, okay, save data, copy USB storage device. Now it should be looking for that PS4 folder, which is now a new folder that's actually empty. So let's look to all and copy. And so now I shouldn't, in theory, have problems. Okay, but I'm having problems. It must be misremembering something. But in this case, I do have the new USB PS4 drive. Hmm. So it shouldn't be overwriting anything. So I'll say to apply to all in this case, and I'll just make sure that I can get World of Tanks back. Or it might work. Let's, let's do a quick experiment. So right now, if I take out this thumb drive, and I put another thumb drive in, and I'll just do a quick double check on this thumb, extra thumb drive, and make sure, oh, it does have a PS4. And I'll just delete everything from this drive. This drive is empty, has nothing. And I will stick this guy in here, so there's no way there could be data on here. I think the PS4 might be misremembering something. So I'll copy to USB storage device, select multiple, select all, and copy. I bet you I'll get that error to pop up. There you go. Okay, so this might be invalid. But just to cover my bases, I'm going to store it in and on this different drive, I guess, in this case. But the other case I think would work too, just having a different folder. And then let me go back. Let me go back. Cancel that. I'm going to pull this drive out. I'm going to put the other drive in. Ugh, come on, get out of there. This one's hard to pull. I'm going to put the other drive in, which should be okay because it has a PS folder, which it should save this to, that has nothing else on it, so I should be okay. So, option, select, select all, copy. And then apply to all and say yes. And so I think that was kind of an incorrect error. But we'll see if World of Tanks data comes up for my main user. I think it will. Okay, there we go. We got all that set up. So I'm going to pull this thumb drive out, stick it back on my computer so we can see what's on there. If I go over here and look, I should see here's this PS4 folder, which now has saved data. DC. Okay, and so this should be the saved data for that last user. And over here, there's saved data. And I think those actually are the same folder, right? Maybe that's why it gets confused. So if I look at that, I go back to oh, go back to the PS4. DC3. Yeah, this must be that same user, uh, but for whatever reason, it just gets confused. So it looks like it tried to save something. Anyway, some confusion going on there. It looks like we're okay. We probably didn't overwrite. We should be good. So what I'm going to do now is, since I want to install things, I'm going to change this, this PS4, which only has my sub-user. And I'll just call it sub-user. And this main one, I'll change it back to PS4 because I actually want it to, uh, I need that because it's going to look for PS4 update folder and that's where the update is. Okay, so with that, I'm ready to do all that. So the next thing I want to do is actually uh, uh, install the drive on the system. Okay, so choice of hard drives first. I just got this one. It's probably a good one to get. It's a two terabyte, ter uh, two terabyte Fire Cuda. It's 90 bucks on Amazon right now, pretty cheap. And I already got that installed and this is actually the one I've been using. So all the work's been done, but I'm going to kind of repeat this and do it on another drive that I just happen to have lying around. Now, one thing to make note is there's only so much room in there, so you can't get... I think there are three terabyte drives available right now that are thicker, and those probably not aren't going to fit. I think this one's a 9.5 millimeter, and that fits just fine. You don't want to get a giant fat one in there. Uh, but anyway, with all that, let's get started. So this actually is pretty easy to take apart. So once you're powered down, unplug everything. Yeah. Be safe. 
So we got no power, everything's unplugged. And then what you have to do is this part actually comes off. And you can just work it by hand, actually. It's not too bad. So it comes off in this first part. And you're gonna gotta pull it again to get it off this second part. And there we go. And then you just kinda pull the whole thing off. That easy, all by hand. Don't need to force it much. And there you go. And then your mileage may vary because there are some different PlayStation 4 models, but this is your hard drive. And what you should have, it should have one screw to take it off. And it should just be up in the front right here. I should say to pull the caddy off. So take that screw out and pull your hard drive out. And there's the hard drive. And all we gotta do now is detach it from this caddy. And there should be four screws for that. One. Two. and four and then make note of the position here so the position the hard drive is, is facing this way with the uh, motherboard right there and you can see everything sticking out the back here so I just like to do that just to be anal and make sure I'm connecting everything correctly and then take your new drive and just stick it in there just the same same orientation and you can see I have a little bit of room so you might be able to get a bigger drive in there but I wouldn't bother risking it uh, if you're gonna buy a new drive and then just reattach to the caddy get all those four screws in There we go. And then just take it and slide the caddy back in gently. And it should connect itself up. You don't even feel it connecting, but you know it's in because you can see the screws on there. And then just put this last screw in there and you should be good to go. And then I'll put this guy back on. So you see the Sony's toward the front. And I just kind of hook it on the back a little bit and push it down. And then I just have to Kind of press it in and that's it. You got a new hard drive in. Okay, so we've got the new hard drive in here and so we need to install the software on it. So we need to take our USB drive that has the PS4 folder with the update folder underneath it, all caps on both those folders, and it actually has the inst installation from Sony that we downloaded. So we'll just plug that in to the little front uh, USB here and then we'll just turn it on. Push the on button on the PS4. Okay, there, I just have to start, start recording the screen. Okay, so I have this, cannot start the PS4, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable. So I plug that all in and click the button. And so at this point, it knows there's nothing on the hard drive. So it says connect a USB storage device that contains an update file, which we just did. So we have that thumb drive in that has the update file and just click okay. And hopefully it'll find it and start installing it. Okay, the PS4 will be initialized. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Now, it's just on the hard drive we are right now. It's a brand new hard drive, so it'll wipe everything out, but there's nothing to wipe out anyway. So we'll just say yes. And let it go. Okay, now it reboots. There you go, system software update. There we go, installing update file, 1%. Okay, now it's restarting again. So 
there we go, 25%, 32%, update in the system, and done. So I'll go restart again. There we go. So cool, we've got, let's go through the setup. So I got my controller connected. And I'll touch the PS. So I'll just go through the regular installation process. And for me, I'll choose English. And let's just begin to set everything up. So I'll just set everything up next. Let's see. I don't have a camera. I can skip that. I'm on Mountain Time. It looks like the right time. Click next. Uh, turns off. Yeah, why not? That's fine. That's fine. And accept the license. There we go. So we should be set up on a new hard drive. Uh, but of course, I have no users, so I need to log in. So I hit X. And I should. Uh, oh, there we go. So I'll go over here, and I'll. Uh, so next, so we're all we're all good to go. We have our. Let's see. Let's see if I can check the system. System information. There we go. Five oh three. So it's all set up and ready to go. So next thing I need to do is actually to log my users in, users in, and also pull their account information in. Their their saved data game. Okay, so next thing I do is add all my users. So let me go up here. Well, before I do that, let me do a quick check on my settings to make sure, a, a, a last check to make sure I have the latest software. So I go to settings, go down to, okay, where did I go too far? System software update. Now I should have the latest because I downloaded it from them, but you never know, no. Okay, I have the latest version. Okay, good. So we'll get out of that. And so now I need to log in each one of my users. So I'll go here, switch user, and this is where it gets a little confusing because I need a new user. I already have a user that exists. There's no, it gets a little confusing because that means, a new user means new user on this PlayStation. Uh, in this case, the users all exist on the Sony network. I just need to add them to this PS4 as new users to this PS4. So I'll click new user and I'll create, create a user. Even though I'm not creating a user, I'm creating a user on this PS4. I kind of need another button in there. Click accept and click next. And here we sign in. So this is where you need all your email addresses and all your password for all your accounts. And so I'll log in the first, the uh, main user account uh, that has, uh, controls all the sub accounts. Not that you need to do it that way. I don't think you need to, but I'm going to anyway. Okay, so we'll sign this user in. And hopefully it'll all work. Okay, we'll be automatically signed in, which is what I want. Click OK. Uh, do I have data to transform another PS4? I think you want to use this if you can connect two PS4s together, and I can't do that. So I'll hit Cancel and hit OK. And there we go. And so now at this point, I have no games installed. I have my one user, but I have none of that user's um, saved data. So what I can do from here to get his saved data off of the USB stick, which is plugged in right now, I can go click on settings and go down to application saved data management. Click on that. Let me get all these posts, aren't I? and then go down to save data on USB storage because now I'm gonna take it off the USB storage and then put it on the PS4. Click on that. And then, come on. I'm just gonna get post after post after post. Okay, come on. And then click on copy to system storage. And now it should find this user's data that's there that's on the USB drive. It won't find the other ones because you can't transfer save data game, save data between users. This all has to be unique. So click on options, select multiple, select all, and copy. 
And so now it should copy all that data up from the thumb drive to the PS4 hard drive I just installed. Oh, and there we go. So we have all the save data for this person now, all the games. So let me go back and log into someone else, uh, switch user. And so I need to delete this user, don't I? I don't want that one. Let me see. Click on that. And can I delete him? Settings. User, that one. Ah. user management. Delete user. Delete user one. Delete them. Yep, I don't want that account in here. Perfect. Okay. So now let me add another user. So I'll go here, switch users, add a new user, create a user. Accept, next, and let me sign in as one of my other users. And we'll sign in. Hit OK, hit OK. And then I want to get this user to save game data. Go down here and go to application save data, save data on USB device. Copy to system storage, and then select multiple, select all, and copy. Okay, so that user should be good. So let me switch users and add another user. Okay, so sign in. Hit OK, hit OK, and then we'll go get this user's data too. I'll click on Settings, go down to Application Save Data Management, Save Data on USB Device, Copy to System Storage, click Options, Select Multiple, Select All, and Copy. Okay, now let me add my last user whose uh, save data is on another folder, so it may be a little, we have to do a few more steps to do that, get that user's data in. So switch user, create a user, accept, next. Okay, hit OK, hit OK. And I believe if I try to upload this user's data, I shouldn't get it or I might only see one of the, of the game. So I'll go to settings and go to let's see, go to application save data management, save it in USB, copy. And see I only see one. There should be more. So what I'm gonna do is get out of this. I don't have to get too far. Take out the USB stick, put it in here, and I'm going to go rename it. So there is my original one. And I'll just rename it to main. And this one, I'll just make it PS4. And so now it should see that users in there. Let me eject this guy, plug this in, and now I should see, hopefully, more than one game, I should see all of them. So application, save data on USB, copy system storage. There we go, I see them all, all right. Hit options, select multiple, select all, and copy. Nah, nah, nah. Cool. So now, at this point, I have all my users logged in. I've uploaded all their saved game data. So the next thing I do is actually to install all the games. Okay, at this point, because I went nuclear, and I 
I've installed a new drive, installed everything fresh, I have no games on here. In fact, I did, although you can back up your games to another drive and pull them over here, I don't want to do that. I want to reinstall them completely, but that takes a lot of time. So what you probably need to do at this point is uh, switch users to your main, in my case, my main user who has a PlayStation Plus account. I don't know if you have to do that, but just to make it simple, uh, go to settings and I can go to account management and I want to activate as your primary PS4. So now this will be my primary PS4. So I'll click on that and it looks like it already activated. So it is my primary PS4. So I guess it automatically did that. And then what I want to do is download games. So I can go over here to my library and go down to purchased. And here's a bunch of the games we've downloaded. So I, I need to download some of these to prove that I actually have the saved game. So I'll just click on, oh, there we go, Adventure Capitalist. So now it will click on download and it will start to download this one. Okay, there it goes, downloading. So I can get out of this. And if I wanted to, can I? So download, okay. Anyway, you can go click on each one and download them. So this is downloading. So let me get out of here. Go over to notifications. And there I can see it downloading. So it's only going to take a minute in this case. Okay, there we go. So now I should have this game. And I hope it's there. There we go. And Tanner, start this guy up. I never played this like my kids did, but it should have my saved game data in there. And let's see. How the heck you play this? Okay, I had to do this the other day. Dandy. Okay, so this is a game my kids were playing. So there it is. It's doing whatever it's doing. So the save data was there. So, cool. So, let me get out of this thing. And so that's what you need to do at this point. You need to actually download and reinstall every game. Anything you've purchased online, you can go here and, and download. Other games, like we have Legos Dimensions, but we have the disc, you got to put that in and tell it to start downloading, and so it will. So it's kind of the nuclear option. It might take, depending on how many games you have, it might take a couple of days to actually download everything because there's, some of these things get to 20 gigs or more. Um, and depending on how many you purchase, it might take days and days to get it all done. But I kind of want to start from a pure, fresh start, everything reinstalled. And that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, but anyway, so there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you can install a new hard drive on your PS4, back up all your game save data, pull that game save data, pull that game save data over, log everyone back in, connect everything back up, and then start downloading new games. So there you go. And I hope that helps someone out there. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username patmandenver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.